so hi guys so in today's video we would be looking at generating music with rnn so from the thumbnail itself you must have got to know that we would be talking about all those music notes part piano instruments and everything so it's really going to be a very fun uh, project for you uh, and this whole notebook is going to be very interesting through, uh, if you uh, work with me throughout so just you know leave, watch the video till end and just tell me how much you enjoyed this part so if you don't know about rnnn i would just give you the link to to the video in which i've explained all the neural networks in detail but for now if i want to give you a very short uh, thing about what rnnn is it is basically like a neural network in which the output uh, from the particular uh, layer is fed to the uh, other network as the part as the part of input so it works something like that i know it is a bit confusing but simple is uh, it's a simple you know neural network if you want to study about that in detail i would just give, give a link to that video so yeah we would be working with the recurrent neural networks so you will train a model of collection of piano midi files from mr dataset there would be a lot of terms in this notebook which you must be really new to don't worry i have been the link to all the terms here so if you go here you look at the mr dataset the midi and audio edited for synchronous tracks and organizations it is a dataset composed of about 200 hours of uh, piano performance captured by fine alignment between note labels and audio waveforms so you see this is dot tensorflow.org you know tensorflow has a lot of things for, for you available for free i just love the open source contribution and community work by tensorflow for that reason so yeah this is the field uh, description so what all things it is giving you midi file uh, the uh, title split year duration everything it is giving you so yeah uh, coming to the part that uh, you would be given a sequence of notes and the model will learn to predict the next note in the sequence so you can generate longer sequence of notes by calling the model repeatedly so i have been talking about midi file here you must be seeing here this midi file what is basically a midi file so i guess uh, a lot of you must be knowing that but if you don't not a problem even i didn't know what a midi file was till last year i guess so yeah if you go down here uh, okay i guess some ads are yeah so a file with dot midi or dot midi is a musical instrument digital interface so it is not like mp3s or waves these do not contain actual audio data and are therefore much smaller in size they instead explain what the notes are played and when they are played how much how long or loud each note should be i know it's a bit uh, complicated but as we would explore the data you would get to know about this so files in this formats are basically instructions that how explain how the sound should be produced once attached to a playback device so you must have seen exactly that when uh, these musicians like someone is playing piano they must have a file above them a note above them it's similar to something to like that so for parsing this files midi files we were using pretty midi so what is pretty midi it is basically a uh, library available in python uh, an open source library definitely which uh, for for handling midi data so it's in format which is easy to modify and extract the information so you know it's really good now coming if you do want to know how to use it exact documentation it's present here i have given the link to this notebook in the description you can directly go and learn from there and now you want to also generate audio back playback in collab for that we would be using pi flute flute synth so yeah from the name itself it sounds something like uh, i would say music uh, musical so this module basically contains finding for flute synth and yeah definitely it would be used for uh, generating the, those uh, uh, audio playbacks so for that we would be installing these three i would just run this and once they get installed we would be importing all the libraries as these are already pre installed in this notebook they are getting uh, loaded so e easily and fast but in your notebook maybe it would take a bit of time now we would import all the modules and libraries the collection date uh, date time the the libraries we have just uh, installed and we would also be using cbon tensorflow so yeah i would just run this and once all the things are done now we are also setting cd equals to 42 and uh, tf dot random seed the sample rate for audio playback is 16000 so yeah i would just run this and yeah it's done so now we would download the mestro data set so uh, we won't be exactly download the things whole data set here because it must be pretty big just 
imagine a lot of files are here even though the files won't be that big if i go to download here you can see the download part is available here and if you want to download you can download so 120 gb so uh, this is the part which is i i won't refer you to download but definitely you can go for this 56 mb1 and uh, yeah it's good now coming to the part we are directly using uh, some zip file we have taken from directly from google api storage google tensorflow has provided us that so all the credit goes to them only so i would just run and it is taking all obviously some part or exactly this part which is top we are talking about 56 mb1 so it has been downloaded and if we go here yeah it's there so if you want to explore you can even explore it i guess it's year wise uh, presented data yeah so yeah we are done with that now the data set contains about 1200 midi files we would just see the length it's 1282 i guess yeah 1282 so we are done with the part now we will see how to process a midi file so for using pre midi pretty midi to parse a middle file inspect the formal nodes so we would like if we would like to download the midi file below to you know just to play on the computer you can do by collab writing download file so it's your choice to download the file or not uh, I would recommend you can go and download it and see this how how this whole file work now We have just sample uh, one sample file here. We are taking it here and yeah, let's Look at it. So we will generate a uh, MIDI project for this now. We have just uh, What we have did we have generated a pretty MIDI object for the sample MIDI file now once we are done with creating that object we need to play that and for playing that we would use the display audio part and for that we would be defining a function display audio in which we are taking that pretty midi file the second the, the how much time it would take and then we would be using a flute synth in which we are giving it the sampling rate and take a sample of the generated waveform to migrate kernel resets to okay i would just do that and now we would display the audio it would take a bit of time i guess and uh, while it's happening let's do some inspection on the midi file what kind of instruments are used so this yeah it's uh, it's there so if you want you can just play this and you would just hear some piano playing in the back and uh, you would get an idea what kind of music these are now what we actually did till now we used a midi file and using the pretty midi uh, library available we just created a generated a pretty midi object and now, now using that uh, flute synth library we just played it so you guys seeing instead of directly taking that mp4 files or anything we are using these two libraries to be actually play the music from that midi file that is isn't that so awesome now let's number print the number of uh, you know uh, instrument the instrument which is being played and uh, the name of the instrument so it, the number of instrument is one and the instrument which is playing is being acoustic grand piano it is already present in the uh, midi file so don't something not to worry about uh, it is already the data which has been given to you now we would look at notes so if you don't know about notes uh, i have already told you in the beginning they are like something which the musicians read and then play so yeah for that we would use for i note in numerator and the, we would take the first 10 ones and the note name would be pretty midi note to number we are just converting everything so we are using this note number to name so that it can be converted into that format so you know pitch 51 note name this duration this something like that now for uh, to represent a note we will use three variables we will use pitch step and duration the so the pitch is the perspectual quality of the sound as a midi note is number and the step is the time elast elapsed from the uh, note or stack of the uh, track the duration is how long the note will be playing in seconds and is the difference between the note end and note start times so extract the notes from the sample midi files so yeah we are taking what we are doing defining midi to notes then sorted notes then pref start and then for note in sorted notes we are just displaying all the things in the data frame so uh, the pitch start end step and duration these five things we are returning so let's look at the first 10, uh, 10 sets so I would just run this because it's really easy to interact in that yeah the index pitch start end step and duration these were the five data set we were expecting so it has given us that now uh, one thing you must be seeing that 
instead of this pitch you know it uh, interpret uh, it may it must it may be easier to interpret the note names rather than the pitch so we can instead of pitch use the uh, note names so i would just put this and yeah these are the kind of notes which we would be using you see c sharp 4 d sharp 4 i don't know if any one of you has uh, played any musical instrument but i am myself a guitarist so from there i have a good idea regarding uh, this music notes and all so uh, these all are chords basically in that so it really is so interesting that we are working on something related to music all chords and everything and using tensorflow and machine learning we are solving it so that is why i love this notebook so to visualize this musical piece you know we will plot the no note pitch start and end across the length of the track so for this tracking part i would re recommend you to just search for all the things which are available above and then plot them because you don't want to directly uh, go to the part basically we are only using three parts that is the starting and the end and the note pitch so i would just define this function here which is going to plot everything according to the x label that is time and y label which is pitch so yeah so let's plot it and uh, the raw notes yeah so this is for only 100 seconds the first 100 notes i mean for, uh, that is for 25 seconds six so in 25 seconds this is how it looks like but when it comes to the full music the full song so the whole track is like that so till 25 which was still here i guess you were seeing something like the here above so this all combined till uh, i guess 300 looks something like this it's obvious very because you are expanding that view here you would say definitely able to relate so let's check the distribution for each node for each node we would be taking that uh, data frame and the drop percentile and we would be just plotting the graph uh, the graph for that and first once we have defined the function we would just plot the raw notes so we get something like this this is the pitch the step and duration so yeah it's pretty good as you you can from here observe a lot of things regarding the the availability of uh, the duration the step and pitch according to a count variable which is common in all of them and this is here from the this is the data from which you can actually explore it and learn that how machine learning is going to work on this the whole model is going to work on this so in the next video we would learn out about how to create a midi file by ourselves not taking from that already installed data so yeah that is it for the video thank you and have a nice day